Well, I guess we ha our legacy does precede us a little That's bit. Um, I Charlie really by accident. No, well, I mean, sort of. It just kind of caught. <laughs> you started on. it. It was your I did, fault. I did start it. Was it was your fault. Um, um, we actually went to the original pod camp and decided that we were cool enough to have a session. Yeah. For some reason. Original pod camp Pittsburgh. Original pod camp pod Pittsburgh, camp which was the second pod camp ever. Um, um, but it was. I had. I had the idea to give. Um, because wrestling is all about fan interaction, and so is our show. Mm -hmm. So I decided to add a little bit of fan interaction to our panel. And basically what, what it was, was anytime they, uh, whenever you're at a wrestling show and anybody throws a chop, everybody woos, like Rick like, woo, you know? And, uh, oh, like that. Oh, there it is. You know? So uh, we said, uh, anybody viewing the panel, that if they wooed, that uh, one of us would get chopped. And uh, it's snowballed from there. Any gathering uh, in Pittsburgh of social media type. There's chops everywhere. <laughs> well, I guess we knew we had something when we went to boot camp Pittsburgh. Uh, early in the next year, uh, and we were asked, we, we did sessions, a small session with the two of us, and we were asked about the chops, and ended up chopping a couple guys, including yeah. uh, Michael Wojciech. Mike Wojciech of, of uh, the Pittsburgh Vloggers. And have, a, Pittsburgh, have a good sandwich. Have right? a good sandwich. And uh, that's like, it was like, hey, mm -hmm. what's this about? We and, then, and then there were woos and chops all we throughout had, uh, Bar Louie. Everybody, we had, uh, was it Justine was wooing? And, yeah. Um, Matthew Ebel and Chris Brogan. It's it's crazy. Pretty fantastic. And, and of course it continued. I don't know how many times at Pod Camp Pittsburgh 2 mm -hmm. that uh, we were, uh, were were told that they were, people were looking forward to our session. Yeah, yeah, just for woos. We, we, we damaged um, the, should I drink that? Father Spoon to be exact. We damaged him. We yes. damaged him, yes. Yes, yeah, we included them on the fun mm -hmm. in our session. No, we don't plan it. We, we don't plan the chops. Rarely. It just kind of happens. If it's somebody's uh, birthday, there's usually a planned chop. Yeah, I mean, or we say where it's going to happen, but it, it's a surprise to most people. Um, when it happens, uh, when somebody decides they want to cause a little bit of mischief, mm -hmm. they'll throw that woo out there. Yeah. And now I've I've tried desperately, and I think a lot of people have respected these uh, established rules. But it's it's like common etiquette. But it, it's rules like uh, never chop when someone's eating or drinking no. or smoking. That's just cause for death right there. Yes. Um, Use some common sense. Yeah, like uh, if, if you look at us, um, we're we're generally you know built gentlemen, so we could take a chop. Yeah, but if you if you take someone like fan of the show Missy, she's like four Probably foot nothing, and half. yeah, you would collapse her uh, collapse her trachea with a chest with a chop. So um, you, you got to be careful. Eh, there's rules. It's, it's all mainly and, common and sense. And at least please have an idea of what you're doing. I mean, it, it's. It's There's a certain hand, technique. And it's right there, that mm -hmm. flat hand. You gotta, you gotta hit it right in the chest. Too it's high is the this. throat, too I, low I've accidentally the... hit somebody in the trachea before mm -hmm. recently, mm -hmm. and I feel really bad about it. And, mm -hmm. and we're experiencing it. And so, yeah. And Accidents stuff happens. always happen. Maybe you drank a little too much. Don't abuse the chops. It's a special, special thing. It is. Only chop those that are dear to you. And won't stab you afterwards. No stabbing. <laughs>